Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you some examples of how we work out relative formula mass. Um, you have to be able to do this part. It is like the, the foundation, the building block of loads and loads of other stuff for um, chemistry, loads and loads of other stuff for science. Um, if you don't think there are enough examples here, pop post to my classroom channel where they're related more. When we are talking about the relative mass of something, we need to work out all the individual masses and add them together. So here we have hydrogen, it has a mass of one, and we have two hydrogens, so in total, hydrogen gas has a mass of two. Here we have hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen has a mass of one, and there is one of them, that gives us a total of one, and chlorine has a mass of 35.5, and there's one chlorine, so that gives us 35.5. If we add those together, we are going to get a total mass of 36.5. Here we have potassium nitrate. Potassium has a mass of 39, and there's one of them, so that gives us 39. Nitrogen has a mass of 14, and there's one nitrogen, so that's 14. Oxygen has a mass of 16, and there's three of them, so that gives us 48. If we take 39 plus 14 plus 48, we will get a total mass of 101. Here we have sodium sulphate. Sodium has a mass of 23 and there are two of them, giving us a total of 46. Sulphur has a mass of 32 and there's one sulphur, giving us a total of 32. And oxygen has a mass of 16 and there are four of them, giving us a total of 64. 46 plus 32 plus 64 gives us 142 as the total mass for sodium sulphate. Here we have barium nitrate. Barium has a mass of 137 and there is one, giving us a total of 137. Nitrogen has a mass of 14 and there are two of them, giving us a total of 28. Oxygen has a mass of 16 and there are six of them, giving us a total of 96. So 137 plus 28 plus 96 gives a total of 261. If you're confused about brackets, I've just made another video explaining this in a bit more detail, so you can go and check that one out. If you are still stuck on this, you can go and check out my um, books or my classroom channel where there are loads more examples for you.